Uh, one more thing which came out and which is a very recent phenomena is this whole uh, consequence of air pollution over North India, uh, largely air pollution being caused because of crop waste burning. Uh, when you started off with Green Revolution, uh, did you ever anticipate that this increase in rice and wheat would lead to a problem of large-scale air pollution for the country? Well, I expected it and I at that time took some action. I am talking about 30, 40 years ago. I wrote to the Rajasthan government, you have a lot of cattle which are undernourished, why don't you buy the rice straw and enrich it with urea and molasses. Urea, molasses and the straw make a perfect food, very good food. So you have double advantage, you have more milk and so on. Unfortunately, no help was given to farmers to handle this raw material. And with the result, they are in a hurry to grow wheat after rice. They burn the rice straw. They, why they, they don't like to burn the straw? I have talked to many of them. They said if somebody will buy that straw, even if it's a very nominal price, we'll be very happy to. So to find economic uses for the straw, is very important. And the best way is animal animal feed because we have also a large number of animals. Or maybe make ethanol? Yes. Or maybe make ethanol out of the straw because I have seen 2G ethanol being made out of straw. You can take many products nowadays, uh, many products from the straw. Even uh, Philippines where I was working for some years, we taught them how to grow um, uh, from mushrooms, rice straw mushrooms. There was a big demand. Manila market bought it over. So there are a number of alternatives. Depends upon which one has a good market, you should promote them. Uh, something which has kind of always struck me as a very interesting thing. Uh, as the father of the Green Revolution, you gave India food security. You gave India surplus wheat, surplus uh, food. But the air pollution aspect which came across all of North India was left to your daughter as Director General of the Indian Council of Medical Research, Dr. Soumya, to front. So an issue which was kind of probably never understood when you were there as the, the Director General of the Indian Council of Agriculture Research was had to be faced by Dr. Soumya, your daughter, as DG ICMR. How do you see this whole panning out and, and do you think there could have been a solution? Air pollution is very unfortunate and very serious. It is caused not only by agriculture but by many other causes also, the way in which we handle products. But that can be done only by public cooperation. Government alone cannot control air pollution. You see, you have social mobilization against air pollution is important. In addition to regulation, regulation alone will not help. Uh, education and social mobilization are important. And uh, today, people have realized it. It's not good for it. And more recently, the air pollution has become very serious. And the health of the individual is affected. I hope an understanding of how to control air pollution, more important, and mobilizing the public to do that will be very helpful. Here, government cannot depend on government alone. As I said, regulations are important, but social mobilization and education are equally important.